Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do mid-November readings for all zodiac signs. Like I always say, these are general readings, so take what applies, kick to the curb the rest. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel, you guys rock! And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the info will be in the box below. Uh, for the month of November, anyone that does schedule a one-hour reading with me will get a free mystery healing box. They make great gifts. If you'd like to gift a friend a reading, um, I'll gladly send the box to wherever you'd like it to go. Give me a shout if you're interested. And um, if you want to learn tarot, I do have tarot card classes. Uh, the videos are $20 a piece. There's five of them plus a bonus video. Enough being said, this reading's going to be for Gemini. So we're shaking with you in mid-November 2018. Gemini, get out of your head. You're being your own worst enemy right now. So let's get into it. Bottom of the deck. <laughs> I have a uh, really good friend of mine that's a Gemini, and this is her favorite card. <laughs> you have the chariot, known as a cancer card. But this is moving forward with victory and success. But you only get the victory and success when the two sphinxes, in other cards, horses, work together. Head, heart, hope, fear, subconscious, conscious. Jemmy's, you can rein that in. You get your head and your heart the same page. You can go anywhere. So, let's get it. Gems, we're going to start off with the Seven of Cups. Now, this is all about options, all about choices. Everything in each cup looks pretty good. Which one do you pick? The one you want, the one you need, and what's crossing to help or hinder. Jemmy's, you have the Ace of Pentacles, the universe giving you this opportunity to see if you take it or not. Now, Pentacles being of the sea here, taste, touch, prove things. It could be a new opportunity in money. You know, order things that have worth and value to you. So, gems, to move forward, you know, and maybe possibly get that victory in that success. Keep your options open. There's potential all the way around you. Now, this is in regards to friendship, love ship, partnership, you know, career ship, any one of these ships, Jemmy's. So put it where it applies. Now, in your foundation, you have the three of oh, three of wands. And this is taking that new course of action, okay, to bring that ship in. He's got his back turned towards those other two wands. Those are actions that didn't prove or didn't, you know, bring the ships in. Ooh, but this one, Jimmy's, this one does. Maybe you are exploring your options and seeing what the best potential for you is. Maybe you pick the right one. Never know. But Gems, to me, it seems like you're ready for something fresh. You're ready for something brand new. Move forward. But again, I think you're being your own worst enemy here because what's crowning your whole reading, Gems, is the Nine of Wands. Now, this is somebody who's been in the battle for a while, but this person doesn't give up. The one wand in his hand is the one he takes down all over the end. Gems, it doesn't matter what the other eight wands are doing. Kick rocks. Join a circus. He takes this action all the way to the end. He believes in it. He sticks by it. Just like this action right here, Gems. But the Nine of Wands seems like, Gems, that you're waiting. You've been battling something for a while. Maybe you want you just, just something to change. It's just so stagnant. And you don't have to stay in the situation or the place you are, Gems. You always have options. 
Now, in your recent past, gems, you have the two of pentacles. And this is the juggling act. Pro and conning something. Will I, won't I? Should I, shouldn't I? Which one do I take? And I believe there's some indecision, indecision here. Indecisiveness, I meant to say. You know, gems, it is hard to make a decision when you have so many choices around you. Just always make sure that you choose the one that's right for you. And not the power or influence of anybody else. Because at the end of the day, gems, you got you. So be fair to you. Going into your future, you have the eight of wands. Now here's reciprocated communication, going back and forth. This is whether you're texting, emailing, Skyping, face-to-face, -face, don't matter. But you are communicating. You're keeping communication open. You know, maybe you're doing a lot of, you know, phone calls, research, you know, if this is inquiring about a job. Or even in people. Getting to know them. Seeing how they tick. Or what makes them tick. And that's probably all, you know, what you got to do to move forward. That's the move. Now, how people see you in your environment. Gems, they see you as the three of swords. Heartbreak. Despair. Brokenhearted. And people are seeing you like this, Gems. You get so much potential. So many options. But there's still something that you're holding on to. Nine of Wands, gems being close to the end of a cycle. If you're trying to move on, if you're trying to do the analytical thing, because, Jimmy, you're, you're an air sign, you know, that's what you do. And you're doing all the motions and strides, but huh, maybe your heart's just not into it. And that will hold you back. Gems, it will hold you back. Maybe you need to give yourself time, you know, to heal from whatever has wounded you. So when you do start finding out your options or seeing what's out there, you'll make a better choice for yourself. It won't be based on, you know, a past experience. And that, Jemmys, will really bring you forward in a positive way. Because in your environment, you have the Page of Pentacles. This comes from Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. But more so, he's just a message. He's a message of the see, hear, taste, touch, proof things. The real things. The things that have worth and value to you, Gems. So around you, there is an opportunity. You know, they're the slowest ones of all of them. But they're practical. They're methodical. They're rock solid. When he comes with it, he comes with it. But it's an opportunity to have something real. And Jim's baby, that's what you need. To help you move forward. To take a different course of action. A successful one. Because in your hopes and fears here, Jim's, you got the fool. Now this is being lighthearted, charismatic, lighthearted. Jim's. Not dragging it around. <laughs> off on a new adventure. Off on a new avenue. In a new direction. Lighthearted, charismatic, and optimistic. Gems, if you are feeling this way from a past situation, maybe you're just hoping that you feel it's this again. Feel alive. Enthusiastic. Now, Gems, you have all types of opportunity around you. You have options. Some of them are pretty good. The universe put them in front of you. See if you take them. 
the universe doesn't want to see you like this. Not the analytical sign of Gemini. Gems, make some choices. Do something different. Do something for yourself. For some of you, maybe you need to take the time out to collect yourself from a broken heart. But you get this new adventure. It's waiting for you. Gems, it's got all these possibilities for you. Because the universe put those opportunities in front of you. Your outcome card is the Nine of Swords. This is agony, sleepless nights. Thinking about something over and over again until you drive yourself crazy with it. Jimmy's worrying is wasted energy. Let's it go. Nine of Wands, Nine of Swords. Nine's being close to a ten. You're ready to wrap up something. Get yourself healed, Gems. And embark on something new with new possibilities with an open heart. And bring them in. It's yours, Gem. It's yours. See if you take it or not. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel, and I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.